Hello everyone and welcome to Science with Tia. So our question for this video is do all solutes dissolve up to the same extent in water? And if you don't know, then we are about to find out. Substances in water are called water soluble substances, but all water substances do not dissolve in water to the same extent. So Let's go on an investigation that will help us try to understand how different solutes dissolve in a given solvent at different amounts. So the materials that we're gonna need for our investigation includes two glasses of water, salt, sugar, and last but not least, a spoon. Okay, so while we are on our investigation, it's just a few things to keep in mind. So we are just trying to figure out do all solutes dissolve up to the same extent in water? And of course, um, our solutes for today are gonna be salt and sugar. So we have the materials that we need. And our first step that we need to do is that we're gonna take our spoon and we're just gonna add a spoonful of the salt to one of the glasses. Okay, so for the first part of this experiment, we're actually just gonna need our salt and one of our glasses of water. Okay, we have our salt and our glass of water. So our first step is we're gonna take a spoonful of our salt, which is one of our solvents. And we're just gonna pour it into the glass. And now we're gonna stir until all of the salt is completely dissolved in the water. And look. All of the salt is dissolved. So now we're gonna take another spoonful of salt and just do the same that we did the first time. And we're gonna pour it into the water, stir, and we're gonna stir until all of the salt is dissolved into the water. Okay, and as we see, the salt is completely dissolved into the water. And now, we're going to add another spoonful of salt to the water. And we're going to continue doing this step until we no longer see that the salt does not dissolve into the water. So this is our third time. Some of the salt remains undissolved. And when the salt remains undissolved, it acts as a saturated solution of salt and water under normal conditions of temperature and pressure. So while doing this experiment, you always want to note the number of spoonful of salt added to the water to make the water saturated. And here, um, I did a total of nine spoonfuls of salt. So this is part one. So remember that we added nine spoonfuls of salt and now we're gonna go on to sugar. Now we have our sugar and we have our glass of water. So um, the same rule still apply. So we're gonna take a, spoon, a spoonful of sugar and add it to the water. And now we're just going to stir. And remember to take note of how many spoonfuls you add. We want to number two.
Okay, so here, as you can see, the sugar can no longer hold the water. So this makes it a saturated solution of sugar. So going back to our original question, do all solutes dissolve up to the same extent in water? We have our answer, um, which is no, because as we've seen in the experiments, ours, the salt have to take nine spoonfuls until it could not until it could not be dissolved into the water anymore. And then the sugar, it only had to take six spoonfuls for it not to be dissolved in water anymore. That was the end of our investigation. And thank you for watching Science with Tia.